It's been a while since I've been vlogging, but I thought I'd bust out the old camera just so that I could tell you the story. So check this out, right? No key. Just walk up to the car and it unlocks the minute I get near the car. And that's uh, that's pretty cool. It also plays you a whole song and dance when you get into the car. Welcome to the Omoda. I will say this about the Omoda. <clears throat> it's got the most sensible phone position in any car that I've ever driven. And I've complained about this a lot in cars before. You get in the car, you have your phone, and you have nowhere to flipping put the phone. You either put it in the cup holder, or there's like some kind of space the phone doesn't fit in. It's like it's stupid. Like nobody's actually solved this until now. See, they've got this thing happening over here where it is an inductive charger. You pop your phone in over there, and Apple CarPlay pops up there. You tap, music starts. Did you see that delay though? I hit pause on it went for like a little while. That is a cool setup where you have, like you just pop your phone there, you can actually see your phone over there so you can kind of see what's happening. Um, and you have CarPlay going there. The interior is not bad. This is uh, not a bad car. Anyways, we're not here to talk about the car. I'm here to tell you a story of how I got into tech in the first place as a teenager. See, I grew up in this town called Rustenburg. It's sort of just outside Joburg, 45 minutes into the northwest. It's quite a big place at the moment. When I lived there, it was like a one-horse town, and we were all over the moon when we finally got our McDonald's. But Rustenburg is a mining community, right? So it's like just made up of a million miners, and we lived in the middle of this sort of mining community. So, so here's how miners work, right? They go underground like really early in the morning. So most miners go down like 4.35 in the morning. But that means they can't take a lunch break. So by law, they kind of only allowed to work six hours. Anyway, it's like all kind of weird stuff. Long and short of it is they were all home by like two, three in the afternoon. And their wife and kids only got home later. So they had some time to kill every afternoon at home alone. And they got into playing computer games. Now I can't actually remember what games they played. So the thing with games in those days, where um, everybody was running pretty much Windows 95 and they did stupid things like kept breaking their computers so like my favorite was some dude woke up on Christmas morning and he got a cool game right and the game said no you need a 3d graphics card and so he thought cool I'll install a 3d graphics card so he jumped into his driver settings and uh, promptly installed a 3d graphics driver which rendered his computer useless and this is where I came in I ran around the neighborhood fixing people's computer and basically just fixing their dumbass messes, which is kind of still what I do. And there I was like fixing basically people's messes and the dumb, the dumb stuff they continually did on their computers. But being miners, these people were not the most wealthy crowd. So they were compulsive gamblers. These people would literally get their paycheck on like a Friday and they would head to Sun City on the Saturday and they would cash their paycheck at Sun City. Gamble the whole lot out. And I remember the one lady one day saying to me, like I said to her, but like, if you gamble out all your money, like how do you live? Like how do you pay bills? She was like, oh, some months we lose everything and we don't pay anything. And then other months, well, we win lots and then we catch up on last month. And I was like, that's like always still like a net zero though. Like you're still not getting ahead anyways. But the point is, they gambled all their money out at Sun City and they were MVG members. So like an MVG member is the most valued guest, like a VIP. So they had these MVG cards or these, these VIP cards. And what you got for the VIP card is you could get two people in the front gate and two people into the Valley of Waves. And so I ran around the neighborhood fixing these computers and rounded up about four or five of these MVG cards. So like I could use them on weekends when my clients or these people we're basically just too broke to go and spend money and gamble. And um, so that's exactly what I did. Here we are fetching, picking Nathan up quickly. It's like a massive storm. Yo, I'm are here. You yeah, I'm here. Yeah, I'm coming. So that was the deal. Like I'd fix their computers and I would use the MVG cards. So that was the deal. So some people would pay me cash would have a bunch of beer money, but that got me into kind of fixing computers. I learned a lot. I eventually partnered up. There was a local computer store. Because I'd built a bit of a reputation in the industry or in the in the neighborhood, 
um, when people needed new graphics cards, they actually wanted to buy a 3D graphics card. They wanted me to kind of do the work for them, and procure, procure it for them. So I ended up doing a lot of that as well. I kind of partnered up with this guy and um, he'd give me a bit of discount on the stuff and I'd resell it to my clients. And that's essentially how at 16, 17, I got into tech and basically started my very first computer business. Um, it morphed from there into tech support into a range of stuff and today I run an ISP and MSP and all kinds of weird and wonderful things and I'm actually starting a community so like check out the link of the, the first link in the description and um, check it out so we'll go to, should we go to Woolies and see what they've got yeah let's go see what's up Woolies okay so check us out it has some pretty funky graphics so if I indicate there's an entire 3D picture of the car if I reverse into a bay, it gives you that with like a top-down view. So you have a rear view and a top-down view. And after all that, I botched it anyway. <laughs> there we go. We're actually on the drive. There we go. On my PlayStation. We're just waiting to say that See, for and then a long time. Get... <laughs> <laughs> and then when you get close enough, it switches to a top-down view. And you can see how close you are to the wall. Right, so we looked at the food at Woolies and none of that was terribly appealing. So uh, next best thing was pizza, right? Hey, Uber said you're Elias with a polo. Yes. Nice polo. Yes. Is this your polo? It says you drive a polo. No polo. Elias. Elias, are you Elias? Okay, but Uber says you've got a polo. Thank you. Okay, let's see.